What's up? So the lovely people from Wondershare reached out to me and they kindly asked if I want to check out their video editing software Filmora. And of course I said yes, because I always like to check out new options to create some cool videos and reels for you guys. And exactly that's why I want to share my thoughts about Filmora today with you, to let you know what you can expect if you want to get started with Filmora. So thank you Wondershare for sponsoring this episode. But now let's get started. First of course we need to create a project. Here in this bar you can choose the timeline that you want to have. So for example a typical 16x9, 1x1, 9x16, 4x3 or 21x9 timeline. And in this case I want to edit a reel and that's why we need a 9x16 timeline for Instagram Reels. So I'll choose that and next I click on create a new project. Now the project is ready so the next step is to import all our files. To do that we should check out the first folder which is the personal media folder. Here you can find all kind of imports that you need for your videos. So any photos, clips, music, backgrounds and all these kind of things. You can easily drag and drop your files into your timeline or you can select this little import button right here to import your clips. That's everything that you need to do to get started. I already have a couple of things in here for my project, but there's even more that you can use if you need additional stuff. For example, there are additional colors, clips and green screen videos that you can use as well. In the end, there are plenty of opportunities here to add some more things to your videos. And last but not least, I definitely need to mention that there are some templates too. For example, for intros and screens and so on. And yes, they are already ready to use. So if you need something like that, it's already there. You just need to drag it into your timeline, adjust it and that's it. So yeah, especially if you're a beginner and if you want to get started using Filmora, this is really helpful to create some good content faster. But yeah, back to our files. Right after the import, I can easily drag the clips that I want to use into my timeline. And if we do that, we can see that it won't fit our 9x16 frame. So what I can do is to simply select the clips and press Command and F to make it fit. But if we take a look at it, you can see that I need to adjust the clips. If you want to select a specific area of your clip, you can click on the crop tool right here to open up a new window where you can select the best area for your clip. This is super easy and perfect for these kind of reels because you always need to share the best parts of your clips in your reels. But one of my favorite tools is the marker for your timeline. So if you drag it around, you'll notice this little symbol right here. And yes, that's a button. If you want to make some cuts, for example, you can just click on that to do that. That's super nice, especially if you just get started in Filmora because you don't have to find all kind of tools and shortcuts first. It's already there and you're ready to go. Another aspect that I need to mention is that if you click on one of your clips, you can also see a variety of options as well. So if you need to change anything like the duration, the crop, or if you want to adjust the colors, you will find everything that you need right there. As an example, the color correction tool is really helpful. If we open it up, you'll see a variety of presets that you can use to get started, but you can also switch to some more advanced options to adjust the white balance, contrast, saturation, and so on. So I highly recommend to check out all these options because they are really helpful to improve the quality of your footage. But now let's switch back to my Instagram Reel Edit so I can show you some more features that I have used to get things done way faster in Filmora. And first let's start with one of the most important things for Reels, and here I'm talking about music and I highly recommend to always add some music to your reels. In this case, I already have a track here in my timeline, but there's also this audio folder right here, and this one is one of the most important folders for your videos. Basically, everyone needs some music for their videos, and that's why a lot of people use these subscription services. But in Filmora, there are already 232 audio tracks and sound effects included. And that's great because music is so important, especially if you want to create some good reels. So that's why I highly recommend to check out that as well. Just choose a track that you want to use from this library and drag it into your timeline. There are all kinds of tracks included so you will find something that you like to get started. One of the most important editing tips here is to edit on the beat. This creates a little flow that makes it way easier to watch the whole video. You can use all kinds of drums or any other instruments in the track to find some sweet spots to make your cuts. But don't just use, let's say, only the kick to make your cuts. Try to use a variation here to avoid the situation that everyone knows that there will be a cut all the time. Another film or a feature that I've used for my reel is the split screen feature. In this case, you can simply drag and drop the one that you like the most into your timeline, and now you can start to add your clips to it to create a split screen video. So especially if you want to share multiple angles or if you create some reaction content, you can use that to get things done way faster. One of the next steps was to add a basic transition to fade the first clip in. 
again. Filmora offers also more than 230 drag and drop transitions for a variety of situations. So again, if you are a beginner and if you don't know how to get things done, this is actually really easy to do. Another quick tip here is to switch to the film stock folder right here to have a more advanced library. So just check that out if you need some more transitions for your videos. Another folder that we need to talk about is that if you like to use any effects, filters or overlays in your videos, you can also use the effects tab. There are over 340 effects included, so there are plenty of opportunities to find the best effects for your videos. My favorite so far are these film overlays. I've used the film 5 effect for my reel because I wanted to add this really nice old school feeling effect that I really like and that one was for me the easiest way to do that and to give this video a quick standout effect. And yeah, basically this is the main part for my reel. However, there are a couple of more things that you can do if you want to add even more things to your own reel. For example, text. In Filmora, there are also 276 options included as well, from basic to advanced, for intros and outros, it's just a huge library with a variety of options. On top, if you have the Filmstock add-on, you'll get even more stuff. Just click on Filmstock right here, and now you have access to an additional library that offers so many great things for a variety of videos, like Christmas, games, festivals, social media, and many more. And if you need any additional footage for your reels, you can also check out the second folder, which is the stock media folder. Here you can find all kinds of things like short animations of photos. A good example is in this case Unsplash. If we take a look at it, you can see that you can easily search for some content, let's say dog, and boom, here you go, there are some dog images. And another option is the elements tab right here. Here you will find all kinds of things like buttons, arrows, social media icons, and so on. And last but not least, of course, keyframing is also included as well. There are a variety of pre-built templates that you can use to get started. Just pick the one that you like the most or simply adjust those settings right here to make it as easy as possible for you to get in the right direction. So yeah, basically I need to say that it actually surprised me how many options I had while testing Filmora. Because as I started to learn video editing, I didn't have all these options in just one single video editing app. I mean, you have a ton of audio files, titles, transitions, effects and elements included. And on top you can use stock footage from platforms like Unsplash, simple and fast as well. They also include a variety of preset templates like intros and outros or end screens for your videos. They offer a really nice split screen effect and even keyframing. So this package alone is perfect for everyone who wants to get started with video editing. And on top you can add the film stock footage too if you need even more stuff for your videos and reels. In the end it's basically an all-in-one solution to find some extra footage for your videos built into Filmora which is always great. So the final question is, is Filmora worth it? Well, I think Filmora is actually a great video editing app that is especially great for beginners because you don't need that much time to learn all the Filmora basics. So that's why I highly recommend to download the free trial version first. So yeah, you can check out Filmora for free, which is awesome because you can easily give it a try to see if you like it without paying anything. All features are included in the free trial version. However, if you want to export any files, there will be a watermark in your footage. So if you want to remove that, you have to buy Filmora. And here they currently offer two options. One subscription option for $49.99 and one perpetual plan for $79.99. The difference between these two options is basically that you will get all the new Filmora updates and new versions if you are part of the yearly subscription model, while you just buy the current Filmora version including all updates for the specific version if you use a perpetual plan. Another additional option for you is the effects and plugins add-on for Filmora. This upgrade includes film stock footage, a variety of FX and a portrait plugin that you can use to remove and replace backgrounds in your videos. Currently you can get started here for $20.99. But yeah, what do you think about Filmora? Write it down in the comments. So, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're new here, don't forget to smash that subscribe button to stay updated for upcoming videos and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.